Good morning, everyone. Dr. Scarbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Transformation is a, an interesting word. It's a, it means that we are changing, right? And the sign most associated with transformation is Scorpio. I transform. <laughs> Scorpio is a fixed water sign. It is a passionate, compassionate, deeply feeling, and deeply probing sign. Scorpio wants to get to the bottom of things. It doesn't want platitudes. It doesn't want... It doesn't want just a reflection of the other, as Scorpio is a... To one of the two signs associated with relating, intimate relating. And in Scorpio, it gets real intimate. Today, this morning at 427, here on the East Coast of the U.S. anyway, um, we had a new moon in the sign of Scorpio. We all have this new moon. And new moons are about new beginnings. This particular new moon happens to be opposite Uranus and in fact the moon probably already was exactly opposite Uranus and the sun will be opposite Uranus either today or tomorrow I can't remember I think it's tomorrow oppositions bring awareness Uranus brings illuminations generally sudden and the question in the axis of Scorpio and Taurus is life and death. Choices around life and death. Um, we're in a very intense period on planet Earth. Oh wow, look at all the leaves falling off the... Looks like it's the wisteria. Yeah. It's like falling leaves. It's like raining leaves. And you can hear it. Can you hear it? It's like all of the life that was here, so green and so majestic, falls to the ground, and it's time for the plants to go into sort of a outer, um, the the outer the outer. The outer sense, the outer look, the outer experience of the tree is one of stillness and um, bareness. And all the energy now goes into the tree and down into the roots. And so just like that, we go, we stop reaching up, I think, the way a tree does. And trying to grasp all the sunlight and now we sort of come down into ourselves and we all the information all the sun all the love all the experience when the leaves are out and touching the sky and green and building fruit in the case of this tree which is an apple tree it's time to go within and ready for the next burst of light and burst of life the light always shines and if we can't see it in the outside we can always find it in the inside and that's where in a way the light matters because that's when we can work the light our own sacred light so in this new moon in Scorpio let's see what it is that you want to give birth to, what change, what transformation is necessary, what sudden awareness are you going to have. It's a very fraught time, but it's a very powerful time. An intention goes a long way, but instead of having your intentions be perhaps wildly specific, <laughs> although that works too. We can also put an intention in there for the light to come on, for people to see. 
and for the choice of life. Enjoy your new moon in Scorpio. Still falling. Still falling. Falling leaves. I don't know. I think there's a song by that name. It's, it's a, it's be, it was a little before my time, I think. <laughs> All right, guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. Here's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. He's like, are you sure you want to go out, Mama? It's kind of cold. <laughs> want to say hi, Charlie? He's in the he's in the in the bush. You eating grass? He's like, yeah, it's really cold. It's like grass ice cream. <laughs> All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Namaste.